everything is wet. <laughs> the gears in the back, it's covered in trash bags. There's a soaking wet rumple holding on for dear life, trying to protect my camera gear. The drone sat out all night in the pouring rain in its styrofoam case. Hopefully it's okay. Here's the deal. The wipers don't work on the truck. So when we woke up, we had to drive into town. We were also, I was trying to rush to get the Cabot's post on time. And, uh, but we got this rain -X stuff that goes on the windshield. So luckily the water's beating off. I don't know if you can see that. So that's good. That's good. Thank God. It's a debacle. <laughs> Definitely a debacle. It's uh, I I didn't check the weather. Yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I kind of just thought you know it'd be gorgeous today too. We woke up in the in the little hut and it was raining at about two in the morning and yeah. had high hopes. You know it'll clear up. Maybe it'll clear up. <laughs> didn't clear up. Uh, so don't know what to do. We're supposed to finish the third Cabot's video today. Gonna have to come back. Gonna have to grind. Gonna have to make it work. I love you guys. <laughs> what have you learned? I have learned to check the weather. <laughs> wow, that's a cool cabin. Wow. <laughs> when faced with adversity, you must keep your head clear, stay cool, calm, and collected, and do the best you can, because that's all you can ever do.
So real quick, wait, we've got this field, which this could literally be like, I could have my car garage. This could be full of blueberries and raspberries. Huge garden, are you kidding? We could have the, we could have 10 gardens. This is beautiful, the roof looks like. Brand new, the roof's brand new. I wanna check out the barn before we look at that. Oh, I see. So it needs a new beam here. Okay, so it needs a couple new beams. So I'll show you the room I saw that was like, like I didn't even look in here. This is a bedroom. Oh, it's so cool looking. The whole thing. Basement with blue doors. Oh, this is the other field. <gasps> this is so look at this little terrace. Oh my God. We'd get rid of all, I guess these are rose bushes, but we could either get rid of them or put something else. This is exactly what I want in my house, with a big farm table right here. Babe, the lights over the top, oh my god. Two Adirondacks between these maples. Wow, oh my god, the island. The kitchen's huge with that big stove. wood stove. Oh my god. It's so open. Are you kidding me? The food right out here like this. Are you kidding me? We need an outdoor shower, 100%. This is freaking 1788. <laughs> Look at this little road. Just like dirt road. Oh my god. This is, I think I need to go get the truck and park it right here. Thank you. Holy! Here it <laughs> oh my god. It's so crude. Oh my god, this is so cool. There's water. Shine it on the bed. <laughs> huh? Shine it on the bed. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cute. It's this so looks cute. so cozy. I love the net around it too. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> oh my god, you know what I have? Cheese. You do? <laughs> yeah. Thank God. I actually yeah. had to pack so much cheese. <coughs> wow. What are the chances of that?
feel your life. Dollar. One dollar. One dollar. <laughs> I got it from Mark Hampton. It's the last book I've ever read. <laughs> I say that about every book. I know. I know. But it really is. I really wish we could stay here longer. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So B doesn't want any cheese in his okay. eggs? What, in them? Or on them? I think he wants some. Do you want cheese on the side or do you want cheese in your eggs? On the side. Good, good, good. Who ate this piece? You make the best eggs. Well, you get, I don't know how you do it. Well, you, you just gotta keep them moving. You, well, <laughs> you and you go get for Christmas. What do you want for Christmas, Kyle? I'm gonna ask Santa for a Canon 1DX. Oh, how are ya? Okay. <laughs> Santa's gotta go back to work. <laughs> this I don't is, know why I packed up it. It's in the fridge on the door, on the bottom. This breakfast right here, B. Yeah. Only the strongest men in the world eat. The side of kombucha does not get much better. No, seriously. This <laughs> Look at me. Oh boy! Hey! <laughs> what are you doing? Hello! So you're gonna have to eat it if you want your lollipop today. Fine. Pshoom. You want cheese in your eggs, yeah? Yes. You don't have a choice. Hey, <laughs> you don't have a choice. How many eggs? Me, two. Two? Oh, should I have more? No, two's fine. Mm -hmm. How many are you gonna have? Six? If you wanna be a little pipsqueak. <laughs> The next animal, you gotta find it. The next animal can be found near a river. The animal loves to swim in fresh water. It also loves to bask in the sun. It's a reptile with lots of teeth. What do you think it is? A reptile. A reptile, but what kind of animal? Crocodile. Good job. It's a crocodile. See, let's ask my friend Kyra the crocodile to come Ooh. to our Halloween party. Hey, <laughs> Kyra. I can take pictures of me. <laughs> I've missed you guys so much. I truly have. It's been killing me that I, I haven't been around. It's been, what, like two months? I mean, I, I just got really caught up in things. I have a really, really cool story that uh, I haven't had time to put together. It happened back in August. And after I got back from that, I went to Texas. I was in Texas for most of September and then finally got home in October and I've been working on this Cabots and Vermont tourism campaign and it's been amazing it's it's really been an incredible learning experience we dealt with a lot of rain throughout this campaign um, it makes the foliage really bright that's a, a good tip never be afraid of a rainy or an overcast day when you're foliage hunting because it makes the leaves shine like crazy it makes the colors super vibrant the Sun will usually wash it out I'm so grateful to, to have to have had this opportunity. There couldn't be a more natural and honest thing for me to do. I guess this is my first like sponsored YouTube video, but just know I, I, I always want to be honest with you guys and I always want to be as true and real as possible and I always will be because no one's gonna buy that from me. You can't buy that from me. 
So I'm never going to advertise anything to you that I, that I don't 100% stand behind and believe in. I just want to tell you some things about Vermont that I genuinely want you to know. It really is my favorite state. I grew up in Western Massachusetts and pretty much Western Massachusetts up into a lot of Vermont, it's like this one corridor and it's all very similar terrain and it has a similar feeling. Um, but Vermont is, I mean, it's just tangled messes of these back roads that it seems like every road has a maple sugar shack or a little country store or something that is unique. And I, I could drive around Vermont forever. I, I will absolutely own property in Vermont one day. There's no question about it. Um, I wanted to tell you some of my favorite towns and places to go. Wilmington, Vermont, which is southern. I think it's central-ish, maybe a little eastern, but on the southern part. Um, that's where the foliage turns first. I don't know what it is about that valley. The Somerset uh, Reservoir and the Green Mountain National Forest near there, it turns, it's, the foliage turns there in late September. Sometimes even, I mean, for sure, it, it peaks like October 1st there. So if, it, for next year, if you need a place, if you want a place to go look for foliage early, go to Wilmington, Vermont, and then go to the Village Roost, get the breakfast burger, and there's some great antique shops and, and some other cool stores all along that stretch. It's a very quintessential Vermont town. Another favorite uh, town in southern Vermont would be Putney. Uh, really cool country store, and the views there are just incredible. You get to see Mount Monadnock, and Green Mountain Apple Orchard is up there. <sighs> you want to talk about views while you're picking apples. And, um... <laughs> we, we lost my telescope. <laughs> How'd you lose it? When I was looking for covered bridges, I was eating breakfast one day and a woman came up to me that lived in Vermont and she told me about this one covered bridge. It's um, just south of Brattleboro. The town begins with a G. I can't remember the name. It was off of North Green River Road. There's a confluence of three roads and there's this red covered bridge. It is the most iconic covered bridge that I've ever seen. All surrounded by red barns and houses, all dirt roads big waterfall with an old wooden dam. It's a must-see. It's in the southern right-hand part of Vermont. You can't go wrong when you pick a back road in Vermont. You really can't. It's almost more fun to not have a plan. Mm. Matt, we can use that light. Oh, light. Oh, it doesn't turn on. No. Come on, B. Let's go. And it would have batteries. It runs on oil. <laughs> in terms of roads, Route 100 in Vermont is just jaw-dropping. It just meanders through valleys and these little towns, they all seem to be nestled on the river and you just wind over these little bridges and it's so cozy the whole way. There's incredible cabins, really good views. Route 100 in Vermont is, is a must-see. I, I, I mean, there's parts of Vermont that can easily compete with anywhere in the world and I'm not I've been a lot of places, especially in the, in the United States. I mean, it, there's nothing like it. There truly is nothing like it. Um, for really good shopping, Manchester, it's about halfway up the state on the, the uh, western half. And right, on the, uh, right next to the National Forest, the original Orvis store is there, the fly fishing brand, but they have really nice clothes. The thing that I really love about Vermont is there's some of the best Airbnbs. I mean, there's really cool hotels and stuff too, but like if you want to go to Vermont and f experience what it feels like to live there, there's log cabins, there's tree houses, there's little huts, there's anything you, A-frames, anything you could imagine. I mean, you could get any experience you want. I haven't spent as much time up north. I've been to Bolton and Burlington. Burlington's really nice. It's way up north. Um, Church Street, I mean the shopping up there. There's endless stores and there's so many boutique, really unique stores with like with great brands. Johnson Wool's, I have these two coats. I've got a green one and a red one that are plaid. They're out of Vermont. I mean, there's so many good products out of Vermont. I'm drinking a Woodchuck Cider right now. Um, Cabot's Cheese, out of Vermont. and. They do, so I've eaten cabbage my whole life. Uh, I, I used to gnaw on bricks of sharp cheddar when I was a kid. I'm obsessed with it. But it's cool that they have these, um, these little packets now. You can take them hiking or whatever. And uh, they got the pre-sliced cheese. So it's just, it, they're perfect for on the go. 
take one of these when you go apple picking, slice the apple, put it with a piece of cheese. I had never done that. My dad's always eaten cheddar cheese with his apple pie. And I, I was always like, mm, that's a little weird, but I get it now. It is so good. So good. Oh, so I got the new GoPro and it has incredible stabilization. So I wanna, let me know what you think of this. I'm gonna end this video with just some shots of me driving the old truck around back roads. Let me know what you think because I, I will drive around back roads, you know, I'll, I'll film a two hour clip and just post it on YouTube. No music, just raw sound of me driving around back roads. If that's something, I don't know, I feel like it's something that could be cool to put on on the TV in your house and just have it on as the background or if you want something to fall asleep to or whatever. Um, I think it'd be cool to do with tons of things, you know, fly fishing, apple picking, any sort of activity, I'll just film it totally raw and then just put it on and it'll be like an hour long. Let me know, let me know your thoughts on that. I think that that would be really cool. But it feels good to be back, it really does. Life is, is really wild lately. I have so much to show you guys. It's, it's been so long, the truck, the van's coming along. I got another van. The rover's been fixed up. There's just so much happening. It's so exciting, and I just can't wait to share it all with you guys. <sighs> I feel I don't want to say bye. I just want to keep talking. <laughs> I'll, I have to play you a quick little song. I don't even have the the last lyric to the verse, but it, I don't know. I came from the rocks in the river bed I rose from the steam in the April air My heart was a flower, my soul was the dirt I don't remember the line I wrote I miss you guys, we'll talk soon.